very active in the vital men. Okay. Um, he grew up in a religious family. Um, his father was a rabbi, uh, but a Kabbalistic rabbi. This detail is very important because uh, some ideas that are in the Kabbalah um, influence, influenced his work uh, a lot. Um, when he was, uh, he told us that when he was a small child, he actually didn't go to school. He learned uh, at home with his family, with his brothers and sisters. They were 11. Okay. And uh, they studied with uh, their father in the Haider. Okay. Uh, and when he was uh, in his free time, he used to go to uh, the beach in Rishon Lezion and he used to look at the sand. Uh, he imagined he was uh, looking at the painting that uh, nature created. He uh, imagined that he saw, um, he imagined uh, seeing uh, shapes and dots and lines, shape, all created by the wind. And uh, when the wind blew in a different uh, direction, so even as a small child, he uh, was looking at uh, the world as it was a art that kept on changing in front of his eyes. Um, so this childhood memory uh, influenced him a lot. Um, in his case, he created kinetic art, okay, art that keeps on changing in front of uh, the viewer's uh, gaze. Now, um, of course, that he was looking for ideas that could uh, reinforce. Okay, um, this concept of uh, change and um, movement in art. And um, one of these ideas were, was actually um, the idea that the Kabbalah has regarding uh, the perception of reality according to Judaism. Because uh, Judaism um, tells us there is one God. A God uh, that created the world, but is present in every in everything um, that there is. Okay, in every action, in every movement, um, in every object, and in every person. Okay? Uh, it's a, a God that is in, uh, let's say, that is seen as a multiplicity of things. Okay, a God that is infinite. All right. It's not uh, the kind of uh, God that we might imagine uh, as if it was a, an old man sitting in the sky uh, who uh, actually didn't do anything after creating the world. No, it's a very accurate uh, perception of God and reality. Now, uh, as a small child, he uh, grew also uh, in with the idea that uh, there is a prohibition on the creation of uh, any graven image and uh, sculptures, and on creating sculptures. Now, uh, it could be problematic for a small, a small child to understand this concept because um, it might be interpreted as if Judaism has something against art, which is not the case because if you think of uh, the Jewish perception of God and reality as change, movement, and multiplicity, something uh, which is static, like sculptures and paintings, cannot be a royal representation of the Jewish perception uh, of reality and of uh, divine creation. Which is why Judaism has the art, but it's a static uh, representation of something which is uh, vivid and in the okay? So, Agam uh, 